Hello, my name is Lisa Ann, and I'm going to talk a little bit about something that I love to do, which is coding. So now maybe you've heard about coding, or maybe you haven't, but lots of people aren't quite sure what coding is. If ever you've used a computer or a tablet like an iPad or played a video game, you've used something that has been created by coding. The language we use to tell a computer what to do is called code. When we write code for a computer, we are doing something called coding. So that's what coding is, writing instructions that a computer will understand. So let's take a look at one programming language, Scratch Junior, that we can use to write instructions a computer will understand. So I'm just going to open up a computer program here. So this is an application that helps us to write code. So I'm going to start from the beginning here. So let's make our scratch character move in an ABC pattern. And we're going to repeat that pattern. So to start, I'm going to click on the yellow blocks and I'm going to take the when the green flag is clicked block so that when I click on the green flag my program will start. I'm also going to move my scratch character over to the left hand side so that's where it's going to start moving in my ABC pattern. So I'm going to click on the blue blocks and that will bring up the different motion blocks. So why don't we move our cat forward three steps. I'm just going to change that to three. Then I'm going to have my cat hop. I'm going to have my cat hop at a height of three. There we go. Now I'm ready to do the C part of my pattern. So I've got A and B now. For C, I'm going to have my scratch character do a full turn. So I grab, I will grab that turn block and one is just a small part of a turn. To make a full turn in Scratch Junior, we need to change that number to 12. So I'm going to change it to 12. And you can think of a full rotation or a full, full turn like the face of a clock. There are 12 numbers on a clock and that will bring you all the way around the clock. So a full rotation or a full turn in Scratch Junior is 12. So let's run our code and see what happens. I'm going to click the green flag to run the sequence of code. Moves forward, hops, and rotates. Now each of these little blocks of code are part of the sequence of instructions. So sequential events in coding is when we have one line of code after another, one instruction after another, and it's in a certain order. The order is when I click the green flag, I'm going to move forward, then I'm going to hop, and then I'm going to rotate. Now what I want to do is make this a repeated pattern. So I could go ahead and grab a move forward three. Then I could grab the hop block and make it a height of three. And then maybe I'll grab a rotation block again. Well, I should if I want it to be a repeated pattern and change it to 12 so that it's a full turn. So now my program will repeat two times. I will see the ABC pattern two times. If I wanted to make it repeat three times, I could then go and write those same sequence of instructions again. But what we can do in Scratch Junior is use something called a repeat. So instead of having to write all those instructions again and again, we can go to the repeat blocks. So I'm gonna click on the orange blocks and I'm going to grab the repeat block. But before I do that, let's get rid of the extra code we wrote because we don't need that anymore. So I'm going to move that second repeated pattern and just drag it up to get rid of it. Now I will move my repeat down and I'll put my sequence of instructions inside of my repeat. And I'm going to make it repeat three times. So I have my ABC pattern. It's going to move forward, hop and turn. And it's going to do that three times because we put a repeat around it that makes it happen three times. So let's try running that now. I'm going to reset my code here and click the green flag. Let's watch the, the cat. 
Move forward, hop, turn. Forward, hop, turn. Forward, hop, turn. Again, that's called an ABC pattern. Now what you can also do with coding is do something called concurrent events. And what that means is we have two characters doing something at the same time. So I'm going to add a second character that will also move in a repeated pattern at the same time as my cat. To do that, I'm going to just click on this little plus. How about we do the code for a bunny? So I'm gonna click on the rabbit. Now I have two characters. I'm going to write the code for my bunny now. For my bunny, I'm going to click on the yellow blocks and get that green flag again. So when I click the green flag, my bunny will move. For the blue blocks, I'm going to make it so my bunny goes up three steps. Then I'm going to make it turn, a full turn. So remember, what's a full turn in Scratch Junior? Did you say 12? Good, so we're gonna change that to 12. And then we're going to move down three steps again. So that's going to be my repeated pattern. Now remember, to make this pattern repeat, we can use what's called a repeat block. So computer programmers use repeats all the time whenever there's a section of code that is repeated or a certain um, number of instructions. So we're going to grab the repeat put our code inside of there. So now we have an ABC pattern for our bunny, which is move up, turn, and then move down. So we're going to change that to three. So let's run both of those characters at the same time. So we're gonna execute the code. That means click on run. So I'm gonna click on the screen flag and watch. Both characters will move in an ABC pattern at the same time. You can see my cat moving forward, hopping and rotating. And you can see my bunny going up, rotating or turning, and then moving down again. So they were both moving with sequential code inside of a repeated repeating event, so that repeat, and then they were doing so at the same time. So it was concurrent events. So that's just one way of writing code using Scratch Junior. We can write instructions that are without a computer, so we call that unplugged, so that we can understand a little bit more about coding. Or we could use other programming languages as well, so other coding languages. That was called Scratch Junior, and maybe you'll check that out sometime um, on your own. But there are, again, there are lots of different coding languages you can use.